Hello everybody, welcome back to Natalia Lovecraft Forever with you and we have such exciting package today to unpack, unbox, I don't know. Um, this is from company Riolis as you can see on my title of the video. And guys, just to remind you recently, I did this cute little guy, this cute little teddy bear. How amazing he is. So this is also from Riolis and we're gonna unpack today. The only my concern is it came in the paper envelope and it's a little bit ripped in here. Other, well I don't know, a little bit in here. So I know usually they send catalogs together with their products. So hopefully uh, nothing got damaged. So let's see and open it because I am dying to check what's inside. Maybe get, okay, I can open just like that. And also I did by this company diamond paint and with sunflowers. I will get, I will link it up for you. Okay guys, sorry about that. I had to recharge my battery. <laughs> my camera was dying. I had recording it's like third video today. So, all right, let's see. I open and now let's hope nothing get damaged because, okay, <gasps> yes, they did put catalog and it's absolutely saved. Oh my God, guys, I love books so much. Look how beautiful this catalog. I love magazines I love and I know they always send magazines so that's why I was so super excited to see and I would love with you together to go through okay so wonderful let's see first what we have here beautiful bag to go maybe shopping oh that's so sweet diamond mosaic Best of Riolis collections. They have diamond mosaic bags. That's interesting. That is so interesting. That's a good big bag to shop in, guys. And uh, first, uh, I thought maybe it's a canvas, but look at it. This is like nice, sturdy kind of fabric thing. I don't know what kind of fabric it is, but it's a beautiful bag to go shopping, personalize, beautiful. You can put your diamond paint in it and go to your girlfriend to diamond paint together. So guys, um, before we start to look what I have here, I'm gonna tell you, uh, please watch this video to the end because they do not sell diamond painting or cross stitching, this is cross stitching, like we um, uh, like to go and shop. They do have people representative of their company in different country that you need to contact them and they will give you information to their page uh, so you can check it out what kind of product you want to order. So I will show you how to find that because later on lots of people asking how to find and they don't know how to work on that website. So I will show you, we will go later to computer and we will check it out, we will find, I know there has uh, suppliers in US, lots of them, more than even in Canada, they have suppliers in Canada, which is good news, you can order from them, they have their um, phone numbers and websites, I believe, so you can check it out, but look this gorgeousness, guys, uh, I don't even know what we're gonna look first, this or this, no, you know what? I will show you this magazine a little bit later on after we look this goodness. So here is the picture that I want to cross stitch. Okay, let me pull that out. Um, you know, lots of girls making a review about diamond painting or not much of the diamond pa painting, but the cross stitch without opening kit itself and just showing you like this because they have so many uh, but I mean for me the main 
a review is to actually see that what's on the inside and guys if I will over talk about diamond painting but not cross touch stitching it's because lately I have so many diamond painting that I start to mix it up words let me just get it out of this sticky bag it's really sticky glue in here I don't want to stick to any of these pages there I can give rid of this bag to the garbage and put this in a nice uh, ziplock bag maybe so here is the picture that I would love to cross stitch look how gorgeous oh this is blooming trees maybe uh, those blossoms of cherries or apples um, beautiful river we can see the water beautiful colors go through the rocks rocky area there's some rocks in here by the tree gorgeous sky like a pink and blue I think this cross stitch and design are so gorgeous that I could not uh, I could not handle not to <laughs> not to order this one guys and here it is I'm gonna show you first uh, obviously this is okay let's see in here cross stitch and also in here in Russian language на борт для вышивания крестом uh, finish size is 16 1 4 by 9 inches which is 41 centimeters by 23 centimeters um, so I'm not sure about how they say finish size would be like all the way to the edge of the canvas or the edge of the printed area not sure about that but what I want to see what kind of it looks like maybe 14 count let me see if I yes it this it's guys um, Swagen Aida 14 count white 24 27 colors in here and a needle okay so I see already we have a needle in here and this is 14 count Aida uh, lots of people change uh, this canvas to different kinds okay hopefully this is not gonna interfere that this is the edge of the canvas and hopefully this is wasn't count so I don't know from which side I should start uh, I will definitely have to count stitches how many to make sure this wasn't count into it so we will see that so obviously there's not much to see in here it's a sturdy uh, stiff Aida 14 count so it will be really easy to cross stitch on it because um, 18 count is really really tiny and I have no idea how girls cross stitching on those like um, a linen like very that doesn't have a holes um, almost like fabric I don't know I never try on those uh, other canvases yet they're more like a fabric than canvas uh, but here is the goodness we gonna have and here what is this came out this is the, just a package number so we have here let me see again is this DMC or what fabric standard, uh, standard cotton so this is a cotton threads I guess and doesn't have DMC codes only by the by the numbers so this is doesn't have a DMC what kind of number it is so it's not DMC all right let's check for right now the colors so 27 colors yes we have 27 
and I'm just gonna slowly guys show you the let me zoom for now a little bit so we will be less out of the focus here's the colors gray this one looks like 310 very very black oh see this way browns orangey like a burgundy brown happy green yellow colors now here's the colors of the sky and of water look at this beautiful threads this is all those blossom shades in here this one looks like shiny unless it's in my eyes looks like a more shimmery I don't know maybe not it's just my imagination uh, but looks like um, lots in here when I look like this how much they okay it's focusing further than it should be um, how much in here looks like a lots then another oh this is beautiful beautiful green colors and pretty pretty pink for the blossom and uh, now I'm just gonna see if they are all those colors doesn't have like a very close in shades because it's important if you don't have a uh, two colors of the same shades matching um okay this is like a backwards hold on guys okay so for example greens as you can see even this green and this one you can see the difference because sometimes company put very close shades and you need to change them because they would be like barely visible from shade to shade in here it's a good combination even between these two shades that you will see the difference um, if you stitch them together they go smoothly unless you want a little bit darker but I think camera even show you there is difference so as the pink one let's see the pinks colors the three pinks definitely you can see the difference it looks close this one on camera but if we look closely this is much much lighter than this one so i think the combination of colors will be beautiful um so let's see the printed our area in here and what we will need to do with this canvas because i already see that it's gonna be um, uh, lots of back stitching and this is the paper let me zoom out so we can see as much as possible here you go i'm gonna open this page wow that is so beautiful guys i love it and it's such a good um quality of the print very very clear you can see everything look how uh, how easy that would be count right all those this is the back stitch and then you can do later on the end i just want to see if they have a different kind of stitching and yes i see already they do have those you have to um, create like a buds maybe where this go there's some different kind of stitching i have to turn to me to see guys i have to uh really kind of examine this it has in russian which i never kind of read in russian i always read in english it's after so many years in canada it's comfortable for me more read in english than in russian which i don't mind at all okay so we have here stitches in one strand in two strands and three strands also we have here one strand stitch which i believe that would be like a backing in here show and then french knots with two strands um, when you are new in cross stitching you always have to read this before you do because here explain where 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 right in here 
right in here there the explanation how you have to thread to to look on those icons in here okay so here we have a french stitch right in here that will look kind of like a button this is the back stitch the one looks like a minus sometimes back stitch could be in two threads here is in one which is good and then all this like a axis in one strand two strand and three strand i never did before in three so that would be interesting to see on the canvas where exactly those colors go they will be in three strands and of course they show you how you start in here how you finish your thread uh what's in here something special have to separate uh and they show you in two strands okay so all this i know okay nothing on another side but it is gorgeous pictures now on this uh canvas separately not canvas but the guide in here all you need to know where you can place your back stitch or french knots and here it is the other faded version that after you already stitch all those crosses now we have a pop of all those uh extras and now we, we will see that all those french stitch we go here on a tree as a blooms or maybe berries uh they have in here on those bushes looks like a berry and some french knot in here and some kind of flowers in black and all those lines is a back stitch and guys why it's so important to do a backstitch i'm gonna tell you one more time an example of this little teddy bear okay i have this little teddy bear before i put any backstitch which is black outline and those red ones on the gift box this teddy bear will look like a blob of colors just a you know brown and pink blob you couldn't even tell that this is really a teddy bear till i put the outline with the backstitch and that's how create the teddy bear he came to life only after the backstitching all those outlines as much closer we can see those outlines make him stand out from all that box and everything before that i couldn't barely even tell that that was a teddy bear so as go for this um cross stitching canvas if you don't put this uh string in here or here on a tree your tree will look ordinary kind of splash pixelated colors but since you add those and actually i love to do those french knots first time i learned how to create them when i was doing my little girl by the um, pond remember i show you my uh cross stitching that i finished years ago maybe like 20 years ago uh no not 20 maybe like 17 years ago so yes uh and i learned from there how to make those french knots because that was like something first time uh, I never did before and in here on a canvas if you never did before a uh, French knot here is how simple and easy example for you how to make them you just twist twist your thread on the needle and stitch and will create like a little tiny flower bud so yes this will really will bring your old cross stitch canvas together and will come up with the gorgeous gorgeous um picture like that and i know this is big picture will take me for a while to um, cross stitch but guys i hope you will join me on one of those um uh, work with me a uh, work in progress and maybe i can stitch together with you um i will go and count because i really kind of confused i hope uh this piece 
which I like that this piece uh, has the border it's not gonna um, come apart but I don't know if this is uh, count as a size for the cross stitch and hopefully not gonna take away my cross stitch in here so I really have to count all those um, stitches how many will be uh, count how many I have here which is uh, should be easy to count or oh, doesn't have how many in here like uh, not what I thought would be so no yeah so you can count like this five I mean it's a 10 20 25 30 because um, the canvas have this little square marking it would be easy to count how many stitches you have so this is something super super exciting and I waited this uh, and it's actually came really fast um, so I'm excited to read more about this and you guys if you want to see this catalog um, let's go to my desk I will there's lots of light up there right now and also I will we will go to computer and I will show you real this website and how you can order because that's really important um, because later on uh, same as I was did diamond painting lots of people was asking how to order without listening my explanation that I was talking in my video so it's kind of important not to skip video but listen so you don't miss any information so let's go guys and we will do um, some more review about now this is really important information guys so please pay attention so you know uh, how to order as you can see this is Rioli's uh, website you can read and hear everything about them information about products as you can see they have in diamond paintings and embroidery kits and uh, lots of lots of awesome stuff in here but the most important thing which you need to know here is the dealers worldwide okay you click on it it will give you here all the distributors and let me a little bit readjust camera all distributors in different countries and we have in here Australia and Belgium Bulgaria Canada in Canada we have in here two distributors zoom a little bit okay so um, in here well I'm just going because I'm in Canada okay let's talk about Canada first uh, and here is the wholesaler his name I think and then you have a website when you can go and check it out also and there is the address actual if you wanna mail write down or it should be phone numbers too sometimes they have a phone numbers I don't see phone numbers here but just the address um, I wonder if I click but okay there is a different country in here too and I'm gonna just stroll France Germany Greece Hungary Japan Indonesia Israel Latvia Liban Lebanon Lit uh, Lithuania Netherlands New Zealand Poland Slovakia South Korea Spain Sweden UK and USA you have one two three four five six seven distributors guys just in US so definitely check them out I'm just gonna right now go find a Canada and see if this is a clickable website okay what do you see okay you see in here let's click on one of them and see okay this is not uh, gonna open me in window live mail so anyway if you uh, write down here is them open a window for you so you can write down message and then contact with this supplier write down email what you're looking for he will send you maybe a, a link to the website where you can see the pictures maybe he will email to you pictures privately so this is how it's work so you go look through the catalogs for example 
in here let me zoom out there is on the top right in here okay in here um, you can click and see what kind of product you are interested in but also there is a catalog where 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 okay product in here new releases you can see everything what's interesting for you and um, here's the catalog I think that's the one we're gonna look if you're interested in it okay that's very beautiful so this is how it's work so obviously you write down to your supplier in your country if you find your country here and you can order through them so now if you don't mind we can look a little bit through this catalog let me just readjust camera comfortable so we can see together those pictures because I'm so excited to check this book guys so let's look together so for those who are really into the catalogs and magazine guys you can stick with me a little bit longer uh, but I'm just dying to dive in to this gorgeous book look how pretty their faces and this is just a cover and there's a lots of sun in here that it's absolutely blinding I think I need to close my blinds otherwise you're not gonna see any picture because it's too much light hold on okay I think now it's better okay are we ready are we ready I love books here is what we have and you get in the first scoop because I'm looking through the camera you guys look in the first scoop of the pictures mm, 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 mm. this is like a candy okay here is what we have ladies here is the cover picture and there's a little kitten playing with the thread and here is another mysterious octopus attacking a boat there who like the boats so we're just gonna go together through the pages and what we have here birds Japanese cranes and beautiful church all the way in the back up there and flowers beautiful oh, I love these poppies for the beautiful colors you can uh, buy two of them and put them in a uh, match and frames it would be beautiful composition of two of them together here is more that's interesting idea of cross stitching you can decorate personal baggies oh so pretty and they have a charm for kids to cross stitch if you have a little kids they would probably love to practice on a little this is usually like a plastic back uh, around I think and then you cross stitch with the thread to make as a charms or even like Christmas tree decorations. Oh, look at how sweet little girl kissing the ducklings. Beautiful bell flowers. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Guys, I can look through catalogs hours and hours, and that's what I do sometimes. When I get too bored, I grab my uh, catalogs that I have or cross stitching. Sometimes I would go through the uh, beads magazines and now I have two or three beautiful catalogs by Riolis oh this is pretty this would be probably on a black uh, they will shape you with the black uh, canvas to put all those colors that would be so beautiful so make sure you um, check out my links in the description box and guys this is the picture of the sunflowers that I did my diamond painting. I was so torn between this poppy flowers. Look how beautiful. And they do have this in diamond painting. This one and this one. 
um, and also I think you can get them in um, cross stitching oh so this is by Rioli that I was showing you the other day picture I didn't know this was by Rioli's I really love this one that's like calling me home this picture oh those are cute episodes for kids look at those kittens looking on the moon um, and, and I like this I think they have a coffee and they have a tea and this is how the old-fashioned way you have to make a coffee you put green coffee in here then you put on a special sand and it's boiling here and you would have the most uh, amazing aroma European coffee oh that's beautiful guys we can look this for hours okay this flowers is just gorgeous if I could I would do them all this is so beautiful so beautiful oh ballerina as I was a dancer it's kind of nice to see now fall time I always love the sunflowers beautiful here's the old-fashioned Victorian kind of style what's in here just the flowers cherry blossom we have here a lady cross stitching that's beautiful that's a beautiful face you can create oh and this beanie oh my god this is so beautiful to cross stitch oh, irises so many beautiful product up there guys you just need uh, lots of money to get them all <laughs> there mm. I, love, I love this one lady this one this little girl I don't know we're gonna spend lots of money if you're gonna take a look all the pictures probably would be easy for you just to look through the catalog on the website but I like to go through pages if you tire you can skip this part of the video but let's just look together Hula mm, horses, that's gorgeous. And then mysterious puma or panther. Family of tigers. Old fashioned cars and motorcycle plates. This is beautiful other ones. So we can go here for a long time guys oh my goodness look at this fantasy stuff so we can like go through this in a whole separate video I'm just gonna flip a little bit like this fast because it will take forever for us to look through all these pages there's so many many oh remember this one uh, that I have as a diamond painting this and it's go to the house it's kind of like this is just like cut piece of that picture that I have diamond painting and what else I was keep looking this this cross stitch and canvas is so attractive to me I don't know those yellow orange colors up there as a light I think that's what got me with the brown of the brick I've been looking for this one like for a long time I just keep staring on it it's so beautiful there's a couple I think uh, going and it's rainy day I don't know what about this picture I absolutely love it I love it so I will go through this book probably like hours and hours from now just to check and read about absolutely everything because uh, here is full of animals horses tigers bears panda bears puppy kittens oh my goodness so so beautiful seriously 
I need an extra life, guys. To this is like a big panels thing. Oh, and this. Uh, oh my God, the colors on this one. I would love to cross stitch one, or even like diamond painting. All four of them, gorgeous. I know. I love everything. I cannot stop because I love everything. Look at that. Beautiful. So I really loved their diamond painting and it came out absolutely beautiful. I know that I had uh, lots of drills left from that diamond painting. The drills was really shiny and good quality guys. And I did a video and I will link for you again so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm hoping this cross stitch will be the same exciting to make. I have lots of work ahead. So please give me a comment under this video if you would like to cross stitch together with me. Uh, and I would love to do this with you if you want me to give you couple of tutorials maybe if you never cross stitch because I have been cross stitching since I was a little kid and then I stopped for many many years and now I'm getting back to it because it is really fun to do. Alright thank you very much and I see you in my next episode.